Welcome back everyone to another video. In today's lesson, we are going to be slow reading the story of Snow White. And what an amazing location to read this story. Surrounded by trees, flowers, the birds singing and everything in harmony. Without further ado, let's get started. Snow White is a classic German fairy tale story published by the Brothers Grimm in 1812. Let's begin. Once upon a time there lived a princess called Snow White. Snow White's father was dead so she lived with her wicked stepmother, the Queen. Snow White was very beautiful and her skin was as white as snow. Her hair was as black as ebony and her lips were as red as a rose. The Queen was also very beautiful, but very vain. She had a magic mirror and every day she would say, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? The mirror would always reply, you, O oh queen, are the fairest of them all. You, O oh Queen, are the fairest of them all. But the Queen was still jealous of Snow White. And she made her work in the castle as a servant. At that very moment, Snow White was singing behind the castle wall. A handsome prince who was passing by stopped to listen. As soon as the prince and Snow White saw each other, they fell in love. They fell in love. When the queen saw Snow White with the prince, she was furious and decided to get rid of her stepdaughter. One day, after the queen had spoken to her magic mirror, the mirror replied, Famed is thy beauty, Majesty, but behold, a lovely maid I see. Alas, she is more fair than thee. Lips as red as a rose, hair as black as ebony, skin as white as snow. The Queen was furious. Snow White, she hissed. It cannot be. It cannot be. The next morning, the queen told her huntsman to take Snow White into the forest and kill her. Bring back her heart to prove that she is dead, she ordered. The huntsman led the princess into the forest, but he could not kill her. He told Snow White to hide in the forest. Then he took an animal's heart to show the queen that the princess had died. Snow White wandered deep into the forest. She was very scared, but the animals led her to a little cottage. Snow White knocked on the door and went inside. She wondered who could live in such a tiny house. There were seven dusty little chairs. In the sink there were seven dirty spoons and seven dirty bowls and in the bedroom there were seven unmade tiny beds. Perhaps untidy children live here, Snow White said. So with the help of her forest friends, Snow White dusted and cleaned the little cottage. Then she lay across three of the tiny beds and fell asleep. Evening came and the owners of the cottage returned. They were seven dwarfs who worked in diamond mines, deep 
in the heart of the mountain. The dwarfs marched along, singing, Hey ho, hey ho, it's home from work we go. Da 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 da. Hey ho, hey ho, hey ho, hey ho. As soon as they entered the cottage, they knew something was wrong. It was clean. The floor had been swept, and there was a delicious smell coming from a pot on the fire. What's happened? They asked each other in amazement. They searched the cottage for an intruder. They reached the bedroom just as Snow White was waking up. Who are you? They asked. My name is Snow White, said Snow White. She explained what she was doing there. Then she asked the little men who they were. One by one, the dwarfs introduced themselves. I'm Doc. I'm Grumpy. I'm Bashful. I'm Sleepy. <laughs> I'm Sneezy. I'm Happy. And he's Dopey. Ha ha ha. They all laughed and shouted at each other. I'm very pleased to meet you all, said Snow White. If you let me stay here, I promise I will look after your house and help you with all the chores. The dwarfs agreed. That evening, the cottage was filled with music and laughter. The dwarfs sang and danced to welcome the princess to their home. Snow White was so happy and she soon began to forget all about her wicked stepmother. Meanwhile, back in the castle, the wicked stepmother said the special words to the magic mirror and the mirror replied, Snow White, who dwells with the seven dwarfs, is as fair as you and as fair again. The queen was furious. Snow White must still be alive. I must get rid of her as quickly as possible. And she vowed to destroy Snow White. Down in the dungeon, the queen cast a magic spell whoosh, to disguise herself as an old peddler woman. Then chanting a magic spell, she dipped a bright red apple into a pot of bubbling poison. One bite of this and Snow White will fall into a sleep as if dead, she cackled. Only a kiss from her true love will wake her. The very next day, after the dwarves had left for work, the old peddler woman called on Snow White selling apples. Try one, pretty maid, said the peddler, handing Snow White the apple. One bite and all your dreams will come true, she said. Snow White took one bite. <gasps> oh! and fell to the floor. Now I am the fairest in the land. No one will be able to surpass my beauty. Luckily, Snow White's forest friends saw what had happened and they went to fetch the seven dwarfs. As the dwarfs rushed towards the cottage, they spotted the queen running away. They chased her through the forest and up the mountain. The wicked queen tried to roll a huge boulder on the dwarfs, but it rolled back and pushed the queen over the side of the mountain. She was never to be seen again. When the dwarfs returned to the cottage, they found Snow White lying on the floor as if she were dead. They could not wake her. So they took her into the forest. They placed her on a special bed and kept watch of her every day. The months passed and Snow White's bed was covered with leaves, then snow, and then the blossoms of spring.
but she still did not wake up. One day, a handsome young man came riding through the forest on his horse. He was the prince who had fallen in love with Snow White by the castle well. When he saw the princess, he got down from his horse, leant over and kissed her. All at once, Snow White's eyes fluttered open. <gasps> she's awake, she's awake, she's awake, the dwarfs cried excitedly. The wicked queen's spell was broken. Before Snow White left to begin her new life with the prince, she kissed each of the dwarfs. I will come and see you again soon, I promise, she said. The dwarfs watched the prince lead Snow White away to her new life. They knew they would miss her, but they also knew that she and the prince would live happily ever after.